Sodium coming into the kidney glomerulus and of course that would may mean reduced GFR. Renal azotemia is a damage to the renal system itself. So that could be because there is acute tubular necrosis. That could be because proximal convoluted tubule got damaged because there is increased lead there. That might be because the patient has more hemoglobin dimers which come into the into the proximal convoluted tubule, go into the cells and, and cause damage to the cells. So many reasons for the renal parenchymal damage itself which would reduce the GFR because what would happen is the damaged cast sickle cell does it. Sickle cell, the, the cells come in here, they are hypoxic, they become sickle, they obstruct the lumen and they damage the capillaries. So let's say there are casts, the cells proximal convoluted to cells are destroyed. Why are they destroyed? Either these are destroyed due to hypoxia, so low volume causes destruction, acute tubular necrosis can occur, hypoxic uh, reasons cause cells to be broken down, those cells casts or tubular casts are accumulated here, that would cost, that would cause what? That accumulation would cause the obstruction here and that reminds me I did not do one factor and that is the, uh, the hydrostatic pressure increase on the Bowman's side. So Bowman side hydrostatic pressure can increase because of obstruction here and that I will talk about it in a second in a post renal. So here when the casts are accumulated and the tubule is jammed that would push that would increase the hydrostatic pressure here because fluid is coming in but not going anywhere out that would push back and GFR would reduce. Then um, post renal azotemia. Post renal azotemia something kidney stones or bladder hyperplasia, prostatic, prostatic hyperplasia causes it. At the end of the day, post renal azotemia means there is a reduction in GFR because of the reasons outside the kidney and after the kidney. So what is after the kidney? Ureters, bladder, urethra, prostate. So these, the conditions there, so for example, prostatic hyperplasia would cause narrowing in all of these conditions, ultimately what happens is the urine drainage is not correct. That reduced urine dra drainage causes the nephrons to become filled with urine. And when these are filled and urine is not moving out, more of the hydrostatic pressure inside the Bowman's capsule increases. That increased hydrostatic pressure pushes back. And that pushback of hydrostatic pressure in this area, this pushback causes GFR to reduce, right? So it's like this that if there is a pipe which has water taking out and if you block the pipe, do you think water would go out anymore? No. Why? Because the back pressure has increased. So uh, prostatic hyperplasia does it, uh, carcinomas of the uh, bladder can do it, ureteric insertion into the bladder if there is a problem there, for, for example, if a kidney stone is stuck there, that can do it. Ureteric obstructions by kidney stones or by other carcinomas or other things pressing onto the ureters, that can do that. Then uh, pelvic stones, renal pelvic stones can do that. So anything after the nephron where the pathway of the urine is obstructed causing the urine to accumulate and back press, that would increase the, reduce the GFR. So that is post renal azotemia. Then syndrome of inappropriate ADH. So ADH here, if too much ADH is released, that too much ADH would cause the fluids, water to be re reabsorbed. So syndrome of inappropriate ADH. So a lot of antidiuretic hormone is coming in, lot of water is reabsorbed, that increased water would increase the blood pressure, that increased blood pressure would cause the afferent arterioles and the JG cells here to become reduce, they would reduce the renin, macular densa would reduce the, the, increase the prostaglandins, that would then cause increased GFR. So system on uh, SI ADH would cause increase in GFR. Nephritic syndromes, so nef nephritic syndromes are the syndromes where the proteins are lost which are lesser than 3.5 milligram gram per day plus there is hypertension, there is microscopic hematuria but at the end of the day nephritic syndromes cause these are inflammatory and uh, immuno immunologic diseases, what they does is they destroy the glomeruli. So the coefficient is gone, right? The surface area is gone or the permeability is gone. So at the end of the day, that causes reduction in the uh, GFR. Ischemic um, 
acute tubular necrosis, we talked about it. If there is less blood flow, less and hypoxia occurs, that hypoxia would cause the renal tubular cells to be damaged. Those tubular cell damage causes the nephron to be occluded. When the nephron is occluded, the back pressure increases and that hydrostatic back pressure causes the GFR to be reduced. Effective arterial blood volume. So we know that, that the blood volume, if that reduces, that would mean reduced blood pressure, reduced GFR. If blood volume increases, increased blood pressure, increased GFR. Atrial natriuretic peptides, so that is a hormone release from the heart in, as a result of increased stretch due to the increased blood volume and increased blood pressure. And that peptide has many mechanisms of actions, but the most import, important is that it dilates the afferent arteriole. So over here I had said sympathetic system, prostaglandins, nitric oxide, um, then atrial natriuretic peptide should be added to that as well. Atrial natriuretic peptide causes the dilatation of the afferent arterioles. It also acts on the JG cells to reduce the renin release which would cause the vasodilatation and, and so that would also uh, help. It also reduces re aldosterones and that aldosterone reduction would cause less reabsorption of sodium and water and more throwing out of the sodium and water. And then finally, benign nephrosiclerosis, which occurs due to benign hypertension. And we know that hypertension causes the uh, GFR to be reduced. So that is what we have in terms of GFR. Hope this works. Please remember just six mechanisms. Hydrostatic pressures, two. Oncotic pressures, two. Surface area, permeability. Everything is going to be affecting four of these. These four then affect two. And that is about it. All right. Thank you very much.